A very good afternoon to you and welcome to Lunchtime News coming to you live and direct from the News First studios here in Colombo. I'm Krishan Devasagam and let's start off with a look at this afternoon's headlines. SLFP appoints four electorate organizers and three district organizers for Kurunagala. Special island wide security program implemented in line with the upcoming festive season. North Korea warns it is ready to use powerful force of arms to maintain a national security. The document containing the auspicious times for the Sinhala and Tamil New Year was handed over to President Maithripala Sirisena today in keeping with age-old traditions. The document was presented to the President by Minister of Cultural Affairs S.B. Navinna and Minister Secretary D. Swarnapala. The Nakatsi tour which was presented contains the auspicious time for the dawning of the new year, the lighting of the hearth, the cooking of the first meal, as well as the auspicious times for transactions and partaking of the first meal, the auspicious time for anointing oil in the new year and the time to leave for employment. The Sri Lanka Freedom Party has appointed new electorate and district organizers for Kurunagala. Dharma Siri Dasanayaka has been appointed as the electoral organizer for Bingiria, Dai Siri Jayasekara for Pandua Snura, Jai Ratna Hirat for Polgahavala, and Lakshman Vandarua for Kurunagala. Meanwhile, Gunadas Dehigama, Anuradh Sampad Gevage, and MSM Fahim have been appointed as district organizers for Kurunagala. The appointment letters were handed over to the new appointees by SLFP chairman. President Maitri Palasiri Sena this morning. Police headquarters say that the number of mobile patrol units will be increased in line with the festive season. Police media spokesperson DIG Priyanta Jayakodi said a large number of police officers have been deployed in this regard. DIG Jayakodi added that a special program is also currently underway to apprehend individuals who drive under the influence of liquor. In more local news now, one person was injured in a motor accident in Nochiagama. Police said that the accident occurred between a van and a car, adding that the victim has been admitted to the Nochiagama Rural Hospital. Our correspondents noted that the accident occurred when the driver of the car fell asleep at the wheel and crashed into a stationary van. An individual died in an elephant attack in Kahatagas Digilia. Police said that the deceased was a 26-year-old adding that he had been attacked while travelling to his home last night. The burnt remains of a woman were discovered from Galhiti Avagane Mulla South today. According to police, the remains have been identified as a 56-year-old mother of two. Gane Mulla police have commenced investigations into the incident. In a political story this afternoon, now speaking at an event held in Thalgasaya Akmimana, parliamentarian Ramesh Patirana expressed the following views. Currently, the national resources of the country are being consumed for daily survival under the government of good governance. Bank interest rates were also increased recently. People are unable to take a loan from a bank at the moment. On the other hand, due to the conflict with the international market, the value of the rupee has collapsed drastically. The rate of foreign investments during 2016 decreased by 43% when compared to 2015. It has also been reported to us that in 2016, the rate of foreign investments coming to the country has decreased by 60% when compared to 2015. Two parliamentarians of the European Union arrived in Sri Lanka yesterday. Member of the European Parliament and Mari Minio, speaking to News First, expressed these views. I am visiting Sri Lanka to see how the human rights situation and the labour rights situation is going. Uh, we've seen great progress um, and we have seen uh, a lot of improvements in, in law, but I'm also anxious to see if the improvements are also in, in practice. So I will be talking to all the parties and I will be listening to everyone to see if the situation has improved enough for Sri Lanka to have uh, exporting rights to the European Union. I very much want Sri Lanka to do business with the European Union, but I also want the human rights and the labour rights to be good. 
The two MPs are scheduled to meet with the Minister of Labour and several other political party members during their visit.